Hello, fabulous humans. Welcome. How are you? It's that day. It's arrived at last. It's Monday. It's the 17th of May, 2021. And cinemas and uh, public entertainment venues and cafes and things are open today in Wales and in the UK. And to celebrate the occasion and as an act of solidarity for the industry, I'm heading off to the cinema for my first cinema trip since must be about September, October. I think the last one I went to see was The New Mutants. And I need to clear the taste of that from the back of my mouth. So I'm off today. I booked to see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Obviously, I've seen it on TV already, but that's the sort of thing we need to see in a blockbuster theatre. And that's just what I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to pop to the cinema. Um, I thought by way of just... Um, for anybody who needs a bit of reassurance, a bit worried about going back to the cinema, I'll just report oop, on my experience at the cinema. And on the way back, I'll do a little bit of shopping and see if there's any new DVDs and Blu-rays out in the pitiful... Uh, stocks that the superstores hold these days. So uh, join me at the cinema. A few moments later. There we are, we're here. The cinema, Showcase Cinema in Nangaro, just outside Cardiff. I'm feasibly excited about going back to the cinema. So what I'll do, I'll see the film and I'll come back and report on uh, what the film, well, obviously you know what the film is like. I got me mask, by the way. Uh, I'll report on what the experience of being back in the cinema is like. And then we'll do a little bit of Blu-ray shopping and a little wrap-up. Two you. hours later. Hello, back again. Okay, I'm back from the cinema experience. I've just been to see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. It should be called Kong vs. Godzilla, let's face it. Um, yeah, it was great to see it on the big screen. I'm not going to say much about the film because I've already done uh, a video a little while ago, a little while back, uh, about the film to find out what I thought of it there. But it's just great to see it on the big screen. So the cinema experience itself. Um, I have to say that Showcase have done a good job, as they did last year when cinemas were briefly open. 
um, in that it's all very safe, very secure. That's the annoying thing that through all this, uh, cinemas were always a safe environment. There were, I don't think there were ever any reported cases of people who'd caught COVID from cinemas or gyms. And yet those are the two things that really suffered during the um, the lockdown itself. But that's by the by. Um, very well regulated. And you go in. Um, it is quite odd. There's somebody sitting at a table uh, by the doorway checking your name, your telephone number, your contact details and identification. Um, checking which film you're going to see. Then you're sort of directed in towards the screen. So it's all quite military and I suppose a little bit soulless because you do miss that experience of just walking into the cinema and getting your ticket and going in. But it's a small price to pay for being able to go back to the cinema at all. I think probably the only downside, and it's probably my fault because I was too keen to go back, uh, because I went to an early screening, the 1045 screen. I just wanted a sort of a, a show of solidarity uh, with cinemas reopening. I wanted to, to show my support. Because I went so early, there was nobody else at the screening. Now, possibly also because people have seen the film. It's not a new title, and it was an early screening. So I didn't get that shared cinema experience, which is what the cinema is all about. Um, so it was quite nice to sort of sit in the cinema on my own. It was just like watching it at home, but on a massive screen and a massive sound system. So that was great. But it was, was a bit odd to sort of sit in the cinema on my own watching the film. Uh, but beyond that, it was just nice to be back. Nice to be back going into the cinema where other people are. It's quiet at the moment. It may be that afternoon and evening screenings will be busier, uh, which is where the COVID precautions will really come into their own. But I would say to anybody who is wary or anxious about going back to the cinema, please don't be. Um... Life is for living. Um, as long as you take the right precautions and the cinemas take the right precautions, you have to wear your mask when you're going in. Um, I don't think you have to wear it during the film. I don't think that's a requirement here, but it may be different in certain cinemas. I certainly didn't. As I say, I was the only one in there and I didn't really fancy wearing a mask for two hours. But I think as long as you're sensible, certainly the cinemas are sensible. They're doing all they can. So it's down to you really just to play your part and do your bit and you'll have a good time. Um, hopefully it's, you know, as as things ease over the next few months and the risks start to reduce a bit more, the restrictions will relax a bit and we can just go back to the cinema as we used to. But this is a very nice halfway house. We can go back to the cinema, we can feel safe and we can enjoy films where they're supposed to be seen on the big screen. Right, well, that's me for my little cinema report. I'm going to do a quick uh, scout at a couple of local supermarkets to see what pitiful stocks of DVDs and Blu-rays they have these days. And I'll see you on the other side of that. So here we are in Tesco's. It's a Tesco's not far from Cardiff. I've not been for a while, but uh, as I've mentioned previously in the previous videos, the physical media sections have dropped alarmingly recently. Here's Birds of Prey, which came out, of course, last year. Tenor on Blu-ray. Uh, never seen it. Not a huge fan of Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn's characters, and I didn't hear great things about it, so I haven't picked it up. I haven't looked at it. But for a tenor, maybe... Um, Friends, of course, is back out the box set because the Friends reunion's coming up soon. That's a good deal. 15 uh, box set of something like 18 Clint Eastwood films on DVD. Uh, quite a nice pickup, I suppose, if you haven't got them, but otherwise it's uh, old stuff. Um, they just tend to, the supermarkets just go with the ones that they think they can sell now, whereas they used to have sort of selections of more obscure titles, but now it's just the big hitters, really. And things like this Great White. How many more Killer Shark movies? do we need but I'm going to look at this at some point I think it's about seven quid at the moment there's no price on it here but I think it's about seven quid but when it's down to about three I'll probably pick it up because Killer Shark films are always good the recent uh, series with James Nesbitt that was on BBC one apparently very good um, elsewhere what else have we got here the St. Maud of course which I watched recently is very good uh, Howard the Duck I do like Howard the Duck like me better Howard the Duck <clears throat> Shark Attack, see what I mean? It's just more Yeti, oh for God's sake, a dreadful film. Don't go near that. Uh, this is a classic commitment from, what, 80, early 90s, I think? Great film, really good. If you haven't seen it, well, I must catch up with again recently. So that's sort of all there is, really. It's very poor selection. Um, CDs, it's not a lot better, really. Um, just a couple of the big hitters in terms of albums, but it's sort of cheap compilations. Uh, as you can see, they've got a Tom Jones greatest sort of hits type thing there. Um, because he's got a new album up that's done quite well. So they just packaged up a collection of his hits again. So yeah, it's um, 
yeah, physical media on the decline there, I'm afraid. It's uh, sad to see. And then on to Asda. Uh, looking at the books, first of all, uh, this is Andy Weir's new book, Project Hail Mary. He's the guy who wrote The Martian, of course, which was such a great book and such a brilliant film adaptation by Ridley Scott starring Matt Damon, a great example of a film version of the book being as good as the book. This is his latest book. He had one called Artemis, which I picked up and never read, but this is supposed to be very good. It's 10 quid in Asda. And I actually picked it up for 10 quid from Amazon on the weekend. So uh, just to finish off a book at the moment and I'll get stuck into that. Um, usual selection of detective novels and, you know, uh, Stephen King stuff. Um, but yeah, moving over towards the physical media, such as it is. Again, as there were just one aisle now of stuff, where these stuff, yeah, as many as half a dozen aisles. Your Disney stuff. Um, usual collection of... You know, family-friendly Disney fair, the Harry Potters and stuff will always be there, I suppose, because people will always pick them up. Um, so I think we'll probably see that sort of stuff in stock. This is interesting. This is uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. Now, I recorded this on Monday. And it was, apparently wasn't due out until today, Tuesday, but it was in the shops yesterday. I watched this on Disney Plus over Christmas. Quite enjoyed it. Um, wouldn't necessarily rush up and buy it, of course. And we've got A Quiet Place, of course, because the sequel is coming up, which I'm very much looking forward to. You um, got some gaps in your Marvel uh, collection at the moment. To seven pounds for Blu-rays. Um, the usual selection of just major titles really that they think people will pick up. And of course, you've got your rubbish as well. Um, you've got uh, I do fancy this. The Night the Passenger. It looks. I mean, it looks great. It won't be as good as that because because the monster effects won't be that good. But it just looks like my kind of film. When I sort of look, I have a look at it. Asteroid Again. Would fail me. I don't think I'll be bothering with that one. Um, yeah, I quite like the look of this. Willy's Wonderland. Um, this is Nicolas Cage in a one of his eccentric modern roles. Apparently he doesn't speak in it. It, it looks quite interesting, so I'll probably have a look at that at some point. No such thing as monsters. Texas Chainsaw Massacre meets the hills of eyes. Hmm, not so sure. Inferno, look at this. I mean, this is probably because the new... Angelina Jolie film about firefighting has just come out, so it's just an attempt to sort of cash in on that. Extraordinary, really. Straight to... So, I mean, at least has to do have some of these uh, straight-to-DVD titles, but um, it's not a great selection, unfortunately. Hello, it's me back again. Um, apologies, I just realised when I came to edit this uh, video, which is it's now Tuesday, um, that I forgot to do a little end piece after I'd done the shopping. I just jumped in the car and drove home. Um... That's what I'm like, professional to the end. And in fact, I meant to edit and upload the video last night, but I had technical problems. I shouldn't be doing this, really. Um, anyway, so that's uh, my little report on my sojourn to the cinema. A little bit of uh, rather fruitless physical media hunting yesterday. I hope, though, that above all the videos reassured you a little bit about how safe it is at the cinema. And I hope that you do feel comfortable going back to the cinema uh, because it is you know it's very safe it's very secure it's their livelihood they're not going to take any chances they want people in through those doors so if you've been to the cinema since they reopened yesterday tell me what you've been to see tell me what your experience was if you felt safe if you felt secure if you're oh no i'm not going back for months um and let me know let me know what you think um so i'll leave it there i've uh, got more bits and pieces in the pipeline promise uh, that second uh, rankings of the doctors is on its way it's one of the files i have problems with but i'm now able to get on with editing that so should that should be up so shortly um so i'm gonna leave it there for now let me know how you've been getting on at the cinema come on now i don't forget 50 50 is still running we're getting there and i'm under 50 subscribers again so like and subscribe and leave a comment and a chance to win but you've got to be in it to win it. Right, that's me. Uh, until next time, keep checking the stuff.